Hey, what's up guys? Uh, relaxing End, bringing you some uh, new map Overwatch gameplay on Modern Warfare 3. So, this is Team Survival. Um, I tried solo for a little bit and got to wave 20 something. And this time we're playing with Dims, the same guy we got to pretty high waves on some of the other maps. I uh, recommend checking his channel out uh, if you're interested in seeing high round survival gameplay. Uh, I think he's the number one guy on that. So, uh, yeah, right into the Juggernaut wave strategy before it's over. So basically we started the Juggernaut wave on the room, which is near where you spawn uh, when the game starts. You throw a couple of flashes, wait for the enemies to come. Obviously there's, uh, you need to put claymores on the way to take out the attack dogs and some normal soldiers. And when the Chugganogs are near the room where you're staying, you throw both of the airstrikes and flash uh, some more. And what that should do is take out most of the enemies so that there's probably only three choppers left in the end and maybe a couple of soldiers, maybe one juggernaut. It depends like how, how well the airstrikes hit them. And uh, that should be a pretty effective strategy on the chug wave because uh, it's really the hardest bad part of this map. Uh, normal waves are really easy. Uh, like, um, we're just staying in this long hallway uh, inside and watching watching the front basically with even one sentry gun which makes it even more easier. So normal waves aren't a real big problem. They're basically just good for like building your money or a financial situation up so you can buy uh, airstrikes and other stuff like when the Juggernaut wave appears and uh, before I get to mention uh, this map has a little bit different uh, cycle with the Juggernaut waves so I'm just gonna if I re still remember it because it's been a couple of hours I went to sleep after this game so if I still remember uh, it was uh, wave 4 comes one Juggernaut then wave 9 is the next time wave 14 wave 19 and wave 24 I believe so at the start it's every five waves starting from wave 4 there's a Chagonog wave and don't be fooled by them because uh, Chagonog wave actually starts kind of surprisingly compared to the other maps uh, they don't just start straight away so it will be a Chagonog wave even though it doesn't first seem like that and from uh, 24 it's going to be every 4 waves, so 28 is Juggernaut wave, 32, uh, 36 and 40. And from 40, uh, I don't know, we only got to 40, so I don't know if it's going to be 44 next Juggernaut wave, but I believe it's going to be. But um, it may offer some surprises still, so I won't guarantee that. So. Um, <coughs> My overall thoughts on this new Overwatch map is that it's really good for survival and really challenging even for experienced players. And definitely worth getting if you if you own Call of Duty Elite and play Modern Warfare 3 like regularly. But if you dislike the game in general, of course <laughs> I would I won't recommend buying any DLC in that case <laughs> but just a few things that kind of bothers me in this um, how uh, how Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer games handle the DLCs and like survival mode in general <clears throat> like they made pretty good game mode they kind of hyped it uh, before the game was launched but then when it's out they actually they don't patch a lot of stuff. For example, uh, there's already a glitch on this map, like invisible spot, and they probably won't patch it 
uh, pretty soon. Like if it would be a Treyarch game, uh, they would instantly do something as soon as they find out like what is the glitch and so so on and so forth. But in with this company, I don't think they care so much of this survival mode anyway. And um, one other thing that proves it is that all of the leaderboards on Xbox 360 are still hacked. There is this uh, hack uh, that hasn't been patched yet for some some reason. I believe the reason is just because they don't care. Like they must have noticed it that people got to like wave 500, wave 400 in most of the maps, and if they even play the game themselves, they must realize that. It, it may be possible, but it can't be done like in three hours, like the guys did. So basically they're using this hack like where you can make all the helicopters, uh, I mean all the other enemies except helicopters go away, so... It's not a big deal to get to a high wave like that, obviously, if you just have to destroy helicopters. But so... <coughs> I'm a little bit disappointed in this uh, game developer, because... They make a pretty good game mode, but just forgot about it like after it's released. So I, I hope they still would do something about it, but I doubt. But anyway, um, we are not going to turn into the dark side. We still try to play this game legitimately, find out strategies. And um, this time we got to wave 40. Unfortunately, we couldn't get past wave 40 because some unfortunate things happened here and uh, we got killed. But we'll try to get a little bit higher today. Hopefully, get to maybe 50. Would be nice. And so, that's about it. And hope you like the gameplay. See you later.